Hello, in today's video about the tuba, we'll be simply looking at how to get the instrument out and set up and how to hold it. Um, I remember learning the tuba when I was quite young and I was a bit confused to start with. So the tuba, here it is, this is my one. This is a large instrument for me and I imagine that even if you're playing a half size tuba, if you're quite young and quite a bit smaller than me, you'll find it a big instrument too. Which means that when we take this instrument out of the case, we have to be very careful not to knock it against things, especially at home. You don't want to damage your family's favourite uh, priceless vase as you get your instrument out of the case. So be really careful of things and people around you and get set up in a quiet place where you're not next to any doors or windows that could fly open and hit you or the instrument. The brass instrument family, um, they're made of brass. <laughs> it's that simple really. Brass is a very soft metal. It's a metal, so it's very sturdy, which means we have strong instruments, but at the same time, it's soft enough, brass as a metal is soft enough that we can curve it into these wonderful shapes that create the instruments that we play. So you have to be really careful not to damage the instrument. Um, and a, one really important tip is be very careful of metal legs on chairs or furniture. If you're getting tired or if you finish playing the instrument or if you're picking up the instrument, um, you can easily catch metal legs on the corners and sides of your chairs. So just double check when you're lifting up the instrument or putting it down, make sure you're not going to bang it against anything and damage it, okay? In terms of holding the instrument, we just need to make sure we're sitting up straight. And if we're about to do an activity um, where we need to sit or stand in a particular way, the posh word for that is posture. So the posture of playing a musical instrument is really important. Um, we have to have a good posture, otherwise if we're standing or sitting in a strange way or incorrect way, we can hurt muscles and get aches and pains, we don't want that. So, quite simply, sit up straight, feet on the floor, hold the instrument upright, have your left arm around the front of the instrument, then your right arm, that is there to get your fingers in place to operate the valves. The buttons we press, these are valves. So to get your hand in the right place, you will have a metal bar or some tubing at the back of the instrument. For this bit, imagine you're made of Lego, put your thumb underneath that bar and then your fingers will line up with the valves on the front. In other videos, we'll be looking in detail about finger work and how to make your best possible sound. 